Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Now this is the second video in the series where I'm looking at the Studio One gate that comes with Studio One. So in the last video, we looked at how to gate a snare drum. Now in this video, what we're gonna do is to trigger a different sample by using that snare drum as well. So we can do this all within the gate plugin. All we have to do is to click on this button here, which is the active trigger button. As you can see, this screen then lights up and then we're gonna choose what note we want to trigger. So I know that on a normal general MIDI kit, the snare drum normally falls on D1. So let's choose D1. So VLO is velocity and this is gonna tell the instrument how hard to trigger that particular hit. So let's turn that up to, I don't know, we can check this later, but let's put it on say about 110, which is a fairly loud MIDI hit. Okay, I've loaded in Contact 5 here, and in Contact 5, I've loaded up Abbey Road 80s Drummer. But you can actually use any instrument you want. You can use one of the Personas ones, or also from a different manufacturer. The next thing we wanna do is to tell this particular track where to trigger from. So I go to my in, and as you can see, it says none here, and I'm gonna choose gate. Right, let's hear that. So now it's triggering the snare from contact. So let's solo all the drums. Let's mute it. And bring it back in. And let's hear that in the track. Seems to be broken and free. Let's mute it in the track. And bring it in. Will they forgive us for the mess we have made? So that's a great way of triggering samples without having to buy a drum replacement plugin. So I'm Paul from Production Expert. Hope you got something out of that, and I'll see you next time.